My name is Christina Yene, I'm a curator and we're at 198 Contemporary Arts and Learning in the exhibition Breaking the Mold, New Signatures from the Democratic Republic of Congo, where I'm presenting 11 emerging artists from DRC who are breaking away from academic training and developing their own style, their own practice. For most of them it's their first exhibition uh, in the UK, uh, so it's a really one-of-a-kind exhibition. This project is a collaboration between Year 2 Peak, which is an organisation in Kinshasa, in DRC. They are supporting emerging artists from the Congo, which is something very um, exceptional and very important in Africa to have patrons for the art. And it's a collaboration between Year 2 Peak and 198, Contemporary Arts and Learning. For this exhibition, I used the redeveloped gallery at 198, uh, which is now composed of three galleries, to sort of create a narrative uh, informed by the work itself. So I created three sections. The first section is revisiting histories and material production. The second section is um, urban experiences. And the third section in gallery three is personal narratives. One of the work that really captivated me was a series of um, masks um, that sort of simulate African traditional masks or classical masks by um, Catharis Mondombo. He sort of created African-like masks with fabric and tarpaulin. And to me, it was a narrative that I wanted to explore as part of the exhibition, really looking at how do you represent African art in the West. So for me the question became how do you present work to an audience that doesn't necessarily have a contact with this, uh, this, the culture, the culture of the Congo, but also how do you create a bridge between you know, what African masks represent in um, African history but also in um, contemporary or in Western art and how young artists are reclaiming this history and making it themselves, you know, creating a new vernacular, a new aesthetic from uh, traditional culture through other mediums. The second section is uh, urban experiences and for that I gathered works by artists who are exploring the hustle and the sort of like DIY existence that you have to live in a context where society or the, the politics or the, the government doesn't really provide for young people. So for instance, there's work by Jamil Lusala, who's a photographer, who's got a series called The Hardest Burden of Having Nothing to Do, where you see young people um, sort of doing odd jobs, selling chairs or selling brooms in the street. The work behind me by Catherine Mondombo called um, Changeur de Monet, which means money exchange. And Catherine said that he was inspired by um, science fiction and he wanted to replicate that conceptually and aesthetically in terms of how you navigate life in Kinshasa and how, how you navigate the city and how you have to find ways to, to make ends meet. So it's really about um, you know, the sort of chaos of uh, urban life. The third section in the gallery is called Personal Narratives. So it's mainly photography work and all of them really deal with like family archive or performative moments, self-portraits by the, the artists who are photographers. And so there's work by Godlief Kisongati, who's um, exploring the breakup of her parents and how this has affected her emotionally. So the work is very much performative, um, but also um, sort of documentary type at the same time. Really what I want to show with this exhibition is uh, new talents from Africa, the heart of Africa. DRC is uh, the second largest country um, in Africa and their artists are not as well known as other artists from the continent. So it was really important to show uh, this work uh, here in London. And it was important for us to open this exhibition at the same time that there was uh, the African Art Fair for a wider audience to have access to this art and really to give those artists a, a platform uh, in London.